my friend here, he slept a lot too. <laughs> Hey, good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here and today I'm so freaking excited because I'm finally going to the country of Japan. I've been dreaming of going to Japan my entire life. I've been eating sushi since I was like eight years old and I'm finally going. And the reason I'm going is because I got hired by a company to do a video out there and the trip was originally four days and I said, you know what, let me add seven days. I've never been and let me do Tokyo and also Kyoto and Osaka. So what I'm doing is First three days in Tokyo, then I take the bullet train out to Kyoto. That's gonna be an experience on its own. And then 72 hours between Kyoto and Osaka, take the bullet train back to Tokyo. Then I go south to like four different destinations south of Tokyo. It's gonna be so freaking amazing. I can't wait to immerse myself in the culture. I mean, the food, I'm gonna get lost in translation. And yeah, today we're flying from Miami International to Dallas. Then I have a 90 minute connection and then 12, 13 straight hours to Tokyo. And I'm flying with American Airlines. So we're going in economy. Are you guys ready? Let's go to the plane. Okay, so that was a quick two hour flight from Miami to Dallas. It was a little turbulent. I watched the movie Crazy Rich Asians and then I slept. I just got here to Dallas, Fort Worth, and I uh, have like a 25 minute connection. Well, it pours like in 25 minutes. So I'm catching the Sky Train right now, the Sky Link, and let's go straight to the gate. It's in D and we're in A right now. Let's go. Dallas Fort Worth Airport has five different terminals, A, B, C, D, and E. You have to take the Skylink to get to all of them or you can walk, but it'll take forever. I don't even think you can actually walk through all of them. And yeah, I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to get here to D uh, 22 through 40, and my gate is D 27, so it should be there in a minute. So we made it here to the gate. We're boarding like in literally one minute, and I'm a little sad because this place behind me, Stampede 66 Barbecue, they have an amazing like uh, Wagyu beef barbecue breakfast sandwich which looks incredible I've actually eaten it before I didn't have that but I've eaten it before I've been to this airport so many times whenever I cross around uh, the United States it's always connecting they, don't, they always have connections to smaller airports uh, within the central United States and yeah guys we're about to board the flight I'm so excited I'm very tired I'm very hungry and yeah it's right here gate 27 they're boarding let's go Okay, so we're here on the plane and uh, I'm here with Brian. His first time flying ever. <laughs> you, you chose a big flight <laughs> for a first time flying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're actually on a 787 Dreamliner. It's my first time flying on a Dreamliner. And this side right here, 787. And yeah, I'm excited. We have TVs, we have endless movies, good food. I'm gonna sleep a lot. I might edit, maybe not. And I'm actually in the back of the plane. I'm like literally the back. 37L. Horrible. <laughs> it's the worst, dude. The back. <laughs> Actually, it's the best. No, man. Uh, it's, it, you feel all the, like, the tail. Like, oh, do you? Yeah, you feel oh, everything. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> like, like you're over here freaking me out. No, no don't worry, don't worry. You're, you're cool. I, I, I'll guide you through it, dude. <laughs> so I gotta show you this feature. I've never seen this before. So the window doesn't have, uh, like, a pull down. So you don't close it like that. It's actually a button here. And you press it. Keep pressing it and just gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until it gets like pitch black. Look, you can see it dude, it's, it's like just turning black. It's amazing. So this flight to Tokyo, Narita, is actually 13 hours long and thank god we got a lot of movies. I might, I'm very excited to fly the Dreamliner. I've never flown a Dreamliner in my life and this is the perfect flight, a long flight to really enjoy and see you know how this all works. I told you before the windows. This is like, you know, the future here. Luckily, I'm here in the I'm in the last row, which is like never the good place to be because it's like really, it's the worst place on the plane. You know, because you feel the tailwinds. And uh, for us, good thing for us is that we can actually put our seat back. <laughs> so I just ate some beef stir fry with chopsticks. Also had a beer and then uh, some like coleslaw. And they also gave us this, which is like a with a sea salt caramel bar. The food is really good. I mean, that, that like uh, beef stir fry was very Asian, and I'll say it's probably one of the best meals I've had on American Airlines in economy. And the ride has been smooth so far. You can barely hear the engines. Look at that. Blacked out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna continue watching the catch. 
catcher is a spy, the catcher, what is it? The catcher was a spy, and I'll see you in a few hours. We have like three hours to go. It's been a long, long ride. It's a total 13 hours, three hours to go. What I did is I worked a little bit, ate some lunch, had some snacks, had a beer, slept for like four hours straight. from Miami to Dallas two and a half hour flight then you know quick like one hour connection and then a 13 hour straight shot from Dallas to Tokyo Narita Airport we're finally here you know flying on the Dreamliner was amazing that was the first time ever for me uh, lots of leg room incredible entertainment I love the futuristic uh, windows super cool how you could just dim them black them out and uh, the food was also amazing the only problem I had on this flight was the staff was not so nice they they basically told me to put away the camera at certain points I couldn't really film certain, certain points of my food but it's fine you know I, I you know we're here and this airport's actually located like 90 minutes outside of Tokyo it's really far before I let you guys go check out what's about to happen on this trip in Japan yeah it tastes like a spicy tuna roll but there's so much rice as you can see and you have the uh, seaweed Oh my god, <laughs> this is like amazing. This is like gonna be the best breakfast of all time. This is wow. Chopsticks, and we're gonna have to let this guy come through. It's such a tight spot that it's just how it is. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, look at that, guys. Bill's ramen. Oh my god. Mm. Oh man, the mix between the oyster and the soy. Oh, delicious. And the, the ramen, the noodles. So it's, they're thinner than the last place, but they're still very thick. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go with the pagoda. Look at that. Little pagoda shaped. Whoa. It's basically just all red bean paste, and the outside has a little bit of the pancake. Mmm. Dude, this is so delicious. I'm gonna have a little more. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Wow, what a beautiful observation deck. 350 meters high. Whoa, looking over all of Tokyo. Crazy. Whoa, this is amazing. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so the first thing we're trying is takoyaki. Octopus balls with ginger. Look at this. Oh my god, this is crazy. It looks so hot. Mmm, a little too hot. And right now we're in Don Tobori. This is like the Times Square of Osaka. As you can see, lots of lights. We're actually on a bridge right now. And it's just like never ending lights. I mean, this is this is crazy in Times Square for sure. And this place is famous for its street food and its isakayas. There's around 30 or 40 cherry blossom trees right here along the river. And we can actually go down. Wow, we can just go down here and see them from the bottom. Definitely gotta be careful because it's a little slippery. Here we go, here it comes. Mm. And this is Jumai Ginjo. This is the second best. Okay. That was so delicious. <laughs> oh my god. Really good. That was so good. It's Samurais, samurai. So samurais were the guys, the feudal lords who ruled Japan for like 500 years into the year 1868. They basically owned all Japan. 
And look, Haley's also dressed like a samurai right here. I got one in red. <laughs> if you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Japan. Konnichiwa. Thank <laughs> you.